First, we start laying the foundation for the integration on the Remedy platform. It is recommended that you have a Remedy expert handy. Personally, I run into issues all the time and it's quite a challenge to figure out what is not configured properly, but more on this later. To give you a quick overview, we have three major steps. This applies to a fresh install. You might have to do even more if you already have a running environment. First, as a Remedy system admin, we need to create accounts. Second, as this privileged user, the ITSM artifacts need to be configured. And third, as the grid administrator, you need to configure the adapters and modules. Once this is handled properly, you need to validate the configuration of the infrastructure. Next, we are going to modify and configure Remedy. Login with the system admin account. In this case, my account is called master. You might have an account called demo, depending on your installation. We need to launch the application admin console and verify the organizational structures, create companies if you want to, or review the setting for an existing company. In my case, I have an existing company. Most importantly, we need to review the support groups and make sure that a support group is created. This support group will be used for the content installer later with Atrium Orchestrator. After this, we are going to review the or create the privileged account. I already have an account. You would like to create one orchestration user. In my case, it's called Orchestrator, making sure that he has a fixed license applied and that the permissions group are properly set. Since this is a lab environment on my side, I grant this account almost everything from system admin to application access. It's very important that you have for change and incident management the proper credentials or privileges assigned so that we can create an incident or a change with that particular user account. Always make sure that you apply fixed licenses. Floating licenses will, will cause you an issue in the long run. Because we want to create incident and changes for other customers, the flag needs to be set to have unrestricted access and the support groups and functional roles can only be set if you are a member of the support staff. In my environment, I want to use this user also to manage incidents and changes. So I apply the proper groups and functional roles to this account. At this, at this point in time, you verify your setup or assign the proper functional roles. Once you have this done, then you can just review all the other settings. I copied in most of the settings from Calbro in order to make sure that I have a functional environment. Back office, going, back office support is going to be the main support group that I use with HM Orchestrator. And men as mentioned earlier, you need to make sure that you are a member of the support staff. Okay, corporate ID, set this as well as the same as login ID. This is going to be very handy when we do some backend automation on the Remedy side. Not necessarily required for the integration, but comes in very handy. Next, I'm verifying the operational categorization. In this case, I enhance the solution and add another operational categorization for the triage and remediation workflows. As you can see here for my company, I have triage and remediation as the default setting and created a new one for global that I'm going to use with my incident template. Next sec section will be assignment. And let me tell you, you need to have a Remedy SC with you because this is going to be some of the most difficult pieces to understand. For the infrastructure change manager, you need to make sure that you have supported system checked and change management flag is set. And then you can pre-fill as many fields as you like. This comes in very handy when we want to use templates and later assign incidents and changes automatically. So I'm going to check that my organization categorization, my location 
as well as my support uh, team or assigned groups are set properly. Okay, now we are done with the basic setup of this section.